Hi guys, it's Danny from the Scrap FX Design Team for March 2022. Today I've got a quick little art journal page on some loose craft mixed media paper. So I'm intuitively just painting down some acrylic paint here. I've picked a colour scheme and I'm just intuitively sort of putting brush strokes down, not really thinking about what I'm doing, but just when it's pleasing to the eye, I sort of move on with another colour. So I'm just layering the paints down here. Um, I've got sort of four or five colours out. And I'm just drying in between the paint so I don't get any mud on the background. And then just adding those extra touches back into the background as needed. Um, no, I'm just really not thinking about what I'm doing, just enjoying the process and just having a play and layering those colours down. So this is the new March release stencil. This one is done by Claire Steed and it's called Circles Galore B. And of course we all like a good circle, don't we? So again, just layering that down in um, groups of five there. And again, this is another new release stencil, again by Claire. And this one is called Dream Big. So I'm just using the little mark making parts of this stencil to add a little bit more texture to the background. And this is just an older collage paper. Um, this one is called Dots and Words. So I'm just sort of tearing off little bits and I'm going to glue those down with gel medium. I really like this little rice paper. It, um, it's giving you sort of mark making without sort of the hassle of having to do it yourself. And I really like that the rice paper really blends into the background so it doesn't take away from what I've already done. So just drying off that medium here. Now I'm using a little bit of scrapbook paper. This is just from my own stash. And I'm going to assemble my little focal point here on the left hand side. So a little bit of book paper. And again, this is another Scrap FX rice paper. Um, this one is called uh, Label Phrases. So just using a glue stick to put my little layers down on my assemblage here. And again, this is a new release collage paper. This one is called Patchwork Butterflies. kind of felt like the butterfly was a bit lost there so I'm just going through my fodder here. This is all scrap effects um, stamps and I've used scribble sticks to stamp those out and I've fussy cut them up so I've got a nice little collection of foliage there. So I'm just sort of deciding on how I want it so I'm just sort of auditioning the pieces on my page and just being a little bit indecisive and just pushing it around the page and just trying to work out what I want here. Now these are great little silhouettes and these are called Corrugated Women and Co. And so again, I'm just sort of auditioning the little silhouettes and deciding how I want to place them as my focal point. And 
Add us back to the background and I'm just doing a little bit of doodling with some of the Posca pens just to make those that background really stand out. And again going back over on the rice paper this just sort of really embeds that rice paper into the background and then adding a few more marks myself. Going back to our little focal point, I'm going to glue that little background down on the scrapbook paper. And I've finally decided that I was going to use the corrugated element. And so I'm just using a little bit of black paint here just to outline the figure so that she stands out on that busy background. Just gluing on the butterfly wings. And of course here I decide that I also need to edge the wings with some black paint so just going to sponge that on. And that really helps it to sort of pop off the background. And again back to all these little stamped images. Um, the fern is called fern leaf stamp. I'm using the medium frond stamp and then just sort of auditioning those again. So just using my tiny attacher to staple that little grouping together so I can work out where I need to plop it. I'm pretty much happy with that. So I'm just going to do some scratchy lines, just sort of doodle over the top of the stamped area and that just sort of helps to unify the all the elements together. And now that I've made a decision I'm going to glue those ferns down. And also my figure. So again, this is another stamp set called Inside Numbers. I've stamped it out and I've used crystal effects on them and it sort of becomes a little raised button. I really like this little stamp set. It's got that real vintage feel about it. So I've just cut three of those little stamps out and going to adhere them to my page after I put a little bit of black paint around the edges. Just to make sure that there's no white cardstock popping out on the edge. And just with a fine brush here I'm just really adding a little bit more black paint to the edges just to make sure that she really pops off the page. Now back to that um, dream big stencil. I'm going to use a little word phrase here, be strong. To add a bit of text to my journal page. And then edging the sides of my journal page as well. Just giving the, the wording a little bit of a highlight with a gel pen. A little bit of white highlights in the background. And then of course I decided to need a little pop of colour so fluoro pink really helps to do that for me. So I've just watered that down, I'm just brushing that around the edges, sort of randomly around the edges there quite loosely and then of course a bit of pink splatter always helps as well. And then I decided I need a little heart so I'm just using a little bit of 
watercolour circle that I've got on my floating around on my work table. I've cut out that little heart and I'm just doodling around the edges here as well before I adhere that on. And that's basically my page finished. I hope you feel inspired to use some of these March Scrap FX new releases. If you liked my page today, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you again sometime later this month. Thanks for watching.